All right, what's up, Dragon Brood? Today we're gonna have some fun because we're getting to play some discard. This is always one of those decks that people either really love or they really hate, but y'all seem to like them whenever I posted them in the past, so we're gonna do another one. This time, though, we're gonna try to take advantage of one of the new cards in Soul Search. This is pretty cool because you can just take any non-land card from the opponent's hand, which is great. The card is then exiled. If it's a one mana thing, then great. You get a 1-1 spirit, but if not, they just lose the card. And that's really all we care about anyway. If we end up getting a spirit every once in a while, that's just a bonus. But there are plenty of other discard spells. So let's hop in and see what we're playing today. We're going to start with, start with 4 Hopeless Nightmare. <coughs> mm. We're going to start with 4 Hopeless Nightmare. This card's actually really good. It's damage. It lets you scry. And they have to discard a card. Now, we're going to play some cards that aren't discard, but we do need to play some things in case some early stuff gets out there we can't deal with. So we're playing some Get Lost and Bitter Triumph just to kind of cover all of our bases. Deep Cavern Bat, you've seen enough of this. This isn't really discard, but it's like pseudo discard, so it'll do. We're going to try some Skullcap Snail because why not? It also exiles when your opponent has a discard. We are going to play a copy of the Raven Man. When I play discard decks, sometimes it makes a cut, sometimes it doesn't. Oftentimes, I'm not making more than, like, one bird off of it. But, you know, why not? Let's give it a shot. We're also going to play one copy of Gix, just as a way to just get some extra cards if the game's going a bit. Graveyard Trespasser to remove all those things we're going to be putting in their graveyard, because, well, we don't want them able to get those back. Of course, Liliana, discarding and being removal is pretty good. There is a copy of Rankle's Prank in here. Uh, if you don't know, this is a card that makes your opponent, or each player, discards two cards, or lose four life, or sacrifices two creatures, or all three. I don't know how often we'll need to cast it, but we'll find out. Shieldred's still good, making the cut. We are going to play Soren the Mirthless. We also have some Aklazots, because if we're already making the opponent discard, obviously this is the card we want. There is a copy of Painful Quandary in here, however... This card sometimes makes the cut, sometimes it doesn't. So by the end of the video, we may end up removing it. We'll see. But like always, if you want to see the final list, because, you know, we play some games, we figure out what's good, what's bad, and what needs to be here in the end, you can see it at the end of the video, and we'll talk about why we make the changes. If you want the deck list afterwards, remember to go down to the description, look for the blue arrows, and it'll take you to our Moxfield link, and you can just get this deck, or check out a whole pile of other awesome stuff we've already played this season in Standard. But for now, let's go see... If this card still has any action going for it in standard. Okay, let's try it. We got the discard run of stuff here. Start with the Hopeless Nightmare. They're giving this discard a, a real thought. Oh, and they discard an Ottawara. All right, that doesn't tell us much about what... Okay, well, that tells us everything. That plus that. Then, uh... These exile spells are going to be pretty good here. Or discard spells, I mean. At this point, they know we're a discard deck, so they get to kind of start playing with that information a little bit. Interesting. No more lies. Okay. Then, even if we can play Liliana, we're probably just playing Soul Search next turn. Oh, guess not. Well, I don't know. You take a bat, I guess. Or, I mean, uh... Bitter Triumph, but tis what it is, I guess. I mean, we don't have any mana, so they could use that to their advantage here. All right. Well, we didn't draw the land, so they made the right call. All right. Well, we'll just do what we can here. Uh, Yeah, I guess we get that. Because we're kind of behind and can't really deal with much. I was really hoping they didn't just top deck like a Rafine there or something. Because that, that would have hurt a lot. Um. Okay. Well, if it wasn't a Rafine, was it hopefully not a counter? Okay, it wasn't. Good job. This is my home, and I don't appreciate it when people touch my things. Okay. Attack. And I'm going to put a stop during my upkeep, just depending on what their turn looks like. Well, we don't have to get to our turn. All right. 
Okay, we'll keep. Um, unfortunately, this has to come into play tapped. We can't really do any of our fun stuff on turn two. I mean, of course, I was going to say, with our luck, we'll just end up top decking a land and whatever. An untapped land. But we didn't. Alright, so what do you got, opponent? You've got Ley Lines. Oh, that's really not much, actually. Interesting. They're playing that with this. Alright, I guess we'll take the Beanstalk. And then we'll take a Ley Line. And then we'll just figure it out from there. Hmm. Yeah, that's already a plane, so that doesn't change much. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little uh, surprised that the Dusk Legion Duelist is a thing here. But we will take a ley line. Alright. Can't say I understand what's going on, but that's fine. You get to exile a card. Okay. I think we're going to go and go with this. See what the opponent's plan is here. And then we'll attack. And get another ley line. Nope, they're just going to draw. Okay. Alright, end the turn. Soldier. Wandering Emperor. Okay. I mean, you get our Deep Cavern Bat. Like, whatever. <laughs> like, that's fine. I wasn't that attached to that card. All right, let's go ahead and kill this. Because we can just attack into their Wandering Emperors, so it's whatever. Hey, excellent card to draw. Um, I guess I say that. It's not like it matters that much here. It does give me something I can discard, though, to a Liliana if I want to do that. Which, wow. In this matchup, Amerix, does Amerix matter? It might. Let's go ahead and each discard here. Happy to help, but I don't overthink things. They had more land to get rid of. They will get to draw when they play their uh, beanstalk. And okay. Oh, excellent. Love this. Let's get that guy. And then make you discard that last card. I'm tired of your secrets. Okay. We might get to ultimate Liliana. Yeah, alright, cool. Yeah, this is interesting because it was basically a I guess domain control deck. But it happened to have Dusk Legion Duelist, which, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just there because it's a Vigilance attacker or something. I don't know. But either way, it's a win. Ugh. Got a mulligan that. No early plays at all. This is better. But again, I, I think every opening hand, if you mulligan with the Quandary, is probably going to be the thing to get rid of. And that's usually a sign to me that that's the card I don't want in the deck list, you know? If I'm rarely ever, like, thinking about keeping it, it's probably not not what we want. Channeler. I don't even remember the last time I've seen that card cast. That's cool. I mean, we could play this. It's kind of a blocker. But we missed a land, and that's not good. Yep, that's... Wait. Oh, they may not have been realizing that got exiled and not discarded. Yeah, I'll block. Shoot. Why not? Okay. Well, we're not doing anything else. What are you trying to do here, opponent? 
Unfalls and Elspeth, huh? Ugh, gross. Well, all right. I mean, like, what else? We don't have any lands. I mean, we're just trying to buy time here, you know? What else are we going to do? Yep, you got it. And even now, I mean, we need the lands to be untapped lands to be... All right, cool. I was like, at least we get to do something relevant here. I mean, I assume they're just going to attack Liliana next turn, but it's, you know, it's whatever. Off you go. Just got to make do with what we can. And we're kind of okay with her getting attacked here. Like, one of those ones where you're like, you don't love it, but yeah, you get it. I'll be back with friends. Yep. And more land for the control deck, which they always want. All right. Maybe this will work in our favor. If they don't cast anything, this becomes a 4-4. Four -four. They may just as well, like, Sunfall, though. Nope, it's a fairy. Don't feel bad when you lose. Quite a tough opponent. Just gonna draw a card with her, Teferi. Hmm. Okay. We know there's a Sunfall already. Hmm. Thinking about if I want to attack, let this flip, and then try to get rid of that during their upkeep. I mean, we're gambling they don't have a counter, which is kind of gross, but feels like it could be the correct play. So yeah, I'm just going to put a stop during their upkeep. It's a bit of a gamble, but it is what it is. And I probably could have got... I didn't need to take that... Point of damage from him. I should have got rid of the memory deluge. That's just a silly play. I'll lose three here. Now they may try to counter. Alright. Then we'll try again. And if they have another one, they just have another one. Like, I would say, we'd, we'd have given it our best college try at that point, you know? All right. So we at least got mostly what we wanted out of this turn. They tapped out. They get to play a land. They still have a billion cards in hand. Unfortunately, we cast a lot of spells. So we don't get that value. I'm just going to activate this. Get what we can out of this. Remove one of the memory deluge, which I should have removed the other last time. But opponent is at nine here. All right, you get the sunfall. Sure. I was just thinking, if we got an untapped land, I would go ahead and try to kill Elspeth here with the shield right up. All right. And then we still have Aklazots and a creature land, and we'll just hope that's enough somewhere along the way. All right, another Sunfall. Sure. Can't attack with their land yet. Because, like, they'd just be able to block, and we wouldn't really get anything. Oh, wait, not true. They're short one. Oh, that does matter, actually. Okay. Dissipate. Well, now that we know Dissipate there, we kind of just got to try to go for it on Aklazots. Doubt it's going to matter too much. Oh, actually, let's do this first. Because then they'll make their decision without knowing we have Aklazots in hand. That being said, they could also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and find something to kill Aklazots. So, yeah, I might lose this game because I didn't get rid of that other... Memory deluge when I should have. Had opportunity and I didn't do it. And I might pay for that now. Sometimes that's it in magic though. It's just small margins sometimes. Small margins. And I was just going off a habit like, oh, you just remove the creature and deal it. But you really don't need to sometimes, you know? Sometimes you really don't need to. 
All right. Sure, you got it. More land. No surprise. Maybe we'll just find a bunch of uh, nightmares. That would be great. All right. I mean, I was going to attack with my creature land, but now I'm just going to do this. I mean, force the opponent to keep trying to find removal or something here. Elspeth, sure. Oh, they get to give it lifelink, though. That sucks. Oh, wait, they didn't give it lifelink. They gave it vigilance. Okay, sure. I mean, I don't think we can kill the opponent under the circumstances, especially drawing a land there, but it does create a possibility. Hmm. So what can we even do? And this, unfortunately, has two counters. I don't think we can win now, right? Because I don't have a way to do damage from here without, like, shield rid or something. And we know they're holding a dissipate. Ugh. Man. Again. Just, ah, uh, I feel like we should have done some stuff differently earlier on. What can we do here? I don't think we can do anything, right? We activate this, they block. Yeah, all right, we're dead. All right, not really a discard hand, but we'll keep it. This is more just doing mid-rangey black things right now. Okay, they didn't do anything to open. And uh, I was going to say, we're probably not going to do much, but all right, we'll at least do this. Worst case scenario, we get to look at their hand or they just make disappear this thing. And that's fine. Oh, give us a poison counter. Well, we get to see what's going on. They have a serum snare. Oh, this guy. Uh, make your pay two. Sure, we'll take this. I mean, they can just counter a graveyard trespasser next turn. That's fine. Like, literally, we don't mind that. That is okay. All right, here you go. Counter a trespasser. Yep. And then this thing, you play it for three, and then you get to play an instant or sorcery, but... Alright, you can give us a poison counter and draw a card. Seems alright. Yep, you got it. You get a poison, they draw a card. Hmm... I was thinking about playing Liliana. I think I am still going to play Liliana here and just make us both discard. Oh, I can't play Liliana here because, you know, need more black mana. That's a thing. Back. Trespasser. Get rid of that. All right. Would you like to kill our trespasser and give us a poison? Nope, they're going to draw cards here. Oh, well, that's cute. Let's see what you got. Yeah, we'll definitely take that out of your hands. Thanks. Like, much appreciated. <laughs> Still have access to this bitter triumph that we don't need to hold on to, but it's fine. In the turn. All right, they're gonna draw here. See what they got. Augury. So they get the best of something, and we get a poison counter. All right. 
seems fine. Okay, so... I think our plan is just play this. Make the opponent discard. I'm gonna get rid of the better triumph at this point and just play Soren next turn. Get rid of that. Alright, only it's at seven. And we're only at three poison, so we're, I wouldn't say in great shape, but not doing bad, I'll tell you that. Sacrifice a creature or a planeswalker. Uh, probably we'll just sacrifice the graveyard trespasser at this point. Like, Liliana could just keep them from doing anything for the next few turns. Sure. You know, I think you look better as a corpse. Oh, and a backup Liliana. That's cute. Alright. Well, plus, what you got? Gonna kill one of my dudes, bounce a dude, probably. I mean, what's funny is if they play a thing and bounce one of these, then they just lose whatever gets bounced to their hand. So it's mostly about proliferating to get us with something. Oh, not even that. All right, so they just have to discard that. That's fine. Works out all the same. All right. Seems good. Get to kill a planeswalker if you wanna. Opponents at six. Thing is, if they only attack Liliana, I'll block. If they attack Liliana and Soren, I'll just block the arcane proxy. Great. Didn't really need those. Actually, opponents at six. Can I just attack? I don't have a creature land. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll block. Whatever. I probably should just attack, honestly. I'm just messing around too much here. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Doesn't really do anything, but whatever. Um, bum, bum, bum. We'll plus one, because I don't need this card. It's fine. We'll attack. In the turn. We can try to off the Planeswalkers here. I will make a Mirix token. Then I'll attack, and if they don't have something else, that will be five. And even if they do have something else, they're going to be at, like, one. Yep, she gone. Get to Melmy. Have fun with that. Sure. Knew this was a waste of time. Yeah, opponent doesn't have anything. Alright. That should do it. Alright. Didn't really matter either way. Oh, boy. Um, I'm going to keep. And interestingly, I normally would play Restless Fortress first, but I'm going to go here. Since Mirixes do make colors, I'll probably just Soul Search on two and then Trespasser on three. And then hopefully by then we'll have some other lands to sort things out. All right. Well, that makes it. Largely a non-issue. Wow. You can search for land, gain three. What is this? This is like a weird domain deck? Alright. I mean, I guess I'll get rid of that. <laughs> I don't really know. I was, I was just taking a shot in the dark there. But, if the opponent is not going to cast anything, there's a good chance this is just going to become a 4-4. And that's good stuff. And we like that. 
All right, not mad at that. We will attempt to attack. Uh, submit zero. All right, I guess we're just gonna hope they don't get a sunfall because I think we are just gonna Aquazots next turn. Oh, they get to put a land into play, though, so they might be able to ramp up and get one of those off if we don't find another discard spell. That could be very real. And they already have multiple white. So Sunfall is in play here. Oh, those are both really good. You know what? I'm going to keep those both as backup plans to what we're going to do here. So we'll attack. Get rid of that. One's going to go to nine, then gain three. I guess technically they can gain six. But if they Sunfall, then we have Hopeless Nightmare into Shieldred. And then we have Myrix and Restless Fortress. So hopefully, that's enough to get us there. Alright. We're going to enact this other plan. This is all about what is the unknown card, right? Because even if it's just like... I don't know, Leyline, it's not the worst thing. They only used one of them. Interesting. So they're planning on casting the other. At least as of this moment. So, hmm. All right. I don't think I want to get in with our land. Even though we probably could have. If there is a sweeper coming, I don't want to get that set up. However, there may be no sweeper realistically. They're probably just going to play herd migration next turn. C double. Hmm. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Just block. All right, so we get a flyer. And then you block trade? Oh, they're not even blocking our Aklazots. That's peculiar. Because, like, in theory, I would think you would want that to be the ground creature that you're going to be able to block with all the 3-3s, three right? All right, so they're not going to do that after all. Maybe that wasn't their plan to begin with. Oh, maybe it's just Atraxa? And then we just have to find a removal card for that? Hmm. Weird. Um. All right. I don't know what's going on here. I'm looking for a soul search or whatever. All right, we'll take that. So, well, no, because I was going to say, if it's a Wandering Emperor, you just do it now and get rid of Aklazots, right? Maybe that's what they're thinking about? I don't know. But I guess maybe they're like, they do it, they don't have anything else in hand, then these get to kill the Wandering Emperor, and that gets kind of dicey. Nope, they're letting us. All right, well, cool then. Let's see what you got. I mean, we'll have all the information. If they play something, they respond by killing Aklazots. Then we know what's in their hand and we probably just play Shieldred. Oh, they're playing C-double. Okay, sure. Alright, so we don't get a card. But we attack, we trade. Their hand's empty and then we just get to get an Aklazots anyway next turn? Alright, sure. I guess. I mean, like... Are we okay with this? Alright. Because, I mean, they either trade or they don't. I mean, I don't... I don't yeah. 
Okay, they're not in the trading business. All right, well, they're top decking, so here you go, opponent. Find your way out. If that's your card, that's your card. Okay, they go to 11. They find a card, but puts them to five. Uh, I mean, I guess we can block with one of the best. I don't, it doesn't even matter. Like, if they're going to sweep the board, they're going to sweep the board. We're attacking with creature lands after that. Okay, Jetmir's hunting, which gets us another bat. Gets them down to more life. I think we're good now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty gross setup. Where, like, if you cycle the land, then Aklazots is making a bat, and you're drawing and taking damage from Shiver. That's, like, the worst-case scenario. Your opponent gets a creature, and you lose two life for drawing a card. Like, that's rough. Okay. I guess we keep it. I mean, we get to Soul Search. I mean, maybe that's helpful. Wow, just straight up play with fire, you. Okay. Oh, why, why? I wanted you untapped. Okay, well, this will have to do. Godric, Stalker. You know what? I think the only thing we're really worried about is Godric here. I feel like the others, like, are they're annoying or whatever, but, like, I feel like we could survive those. Even Godric, we probably could have survived, but this is okay. Yep, get your damage in, opponent. Now, this is where I have to make a choice, because... Nah, I mean, we could just... Well, we already know they have that, so Shieldred's not going to live anyway. So, yeah, no point. Let's just do this. Probably a land. Well, I don't know. We don't know what the unknown card is. Alright. And then you choose another one. Come on. You can get rid of the Witch Stalker's Frenzy. I promise. Uh, they didn't want to do it. Okay. Smartly so, though. I mean, but still, it's just like, ah, I need you to get rid of that. All right, we'll block, take two. Ah, Raven Man. You know what, Raven Man, you can at least chump block something. I mean, if they drew a burn spell, it's coming after this anyway. If not, we at least get to block. Okay, cool. Works for me. All right, so we can kill a thing and we can scry. And then maybe, just maybe, we get to shield return. Swiss spear, that's annoying. I guess that's what we're gonna kill though. All right. Man, the worst part is this is going to come in as a creature, so they're still going to have two things to reduce the cost on the Frenzy. Ah, uh, all right. Let's see what else we find here. Uh, okay. Maybe. If I take the Liliana now, and we make them discard... Well, no, then we lose the shielded. That's no good. We make them sack a thing. Then we know those are coming in. One's at us, one's at that. All right. I'm hoping to get another play good playable card here with the Liliana. This is the plan. And then they spend their turn just killing a shielded here. Which, you know, makes sense. But we're also at four at that point, so... Not sure if it matters. Yep. The funny thing is, I could have taken that frenzy forever ago, but it's just not going to matter here. Yep. All right. GG's. This feels like a tough one to win with this, with all these tap lands, but I'm hoping in the first two draws we get 
one that's untapped. If so, I think we at least have, I won't say a chance, but at least it's not going to be a blowout. All right, we need it on the next card. Come on, untap land. Uh, they have a bat for our get lost. I mean, they might bat our bat. Yep, and we missed. That sucks. Uh, we we took a risk on the hand, but this is where it becomes a bit of a blowout. That's tough. Um, oh, how do we want to go about this? Like, this is a problem if we don't get rid of that. But then we have limited options to get rid of anything else the opponent's doing. All right. I think we just have to let them have a card here. I guess it doesn't really matter then. All right. I mean, they already know what our hand is. They can see all of our cards. So it's just whatever. Wrinkles pranks. Each player discards two cards. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm actually thinking about this. Because if we get rid of that and have this. Like, are we that upset at the outcome? Hmm. I'm going to get rid of Trespasser. Wow, this is a real decision. Wow, I don't even know what I want to get rid of, y'all. I'm going to get rid of these two. Mostly under the guys that I can kill this. I mean, I attack. It doesn't really do anything because they're going to get to bump their thing or whatever. Yep. I mean, I guess there's a world where I could have got rid of Soul Search knowing they were going to get rid of their hand, and I could have kept at least, like, Trespasser. I mean, that would have been at least somewhat reasonable. Yeah, I probably should have done that, actually. I was so concentrated on the cards I was going to discard. I mean, I could also find a removal spell for their thing and, you know, whatever. But we'll see how this goes. I mean, I would like an untapped land here. Playing both of these would be pretty nice. Eh, no such luck. Any chance? There's no chance that's another cut down, right? Nope, it's just a land. Okay. Might as well attack just to... Keep us from falling too far behind here. Alright, what else you got? Probably just more lands, it seems. Is he dead? I mean, you can kill the bats and kill the raven, man. Nope. Alright. Oh, Raven Man might be dead anyway. Not yet. This is a very weird game. I'm sorry y'all have to sit through this. This is uh, not the most entertaining game of Magic. Some of y'all said y'all like these grindy games, though. Seen a few comments about that. Alright, let's see what we can find. Oh. Okay. Almost got me turning a little, John. Okay. Uh, yeah. I guess we're attacking. Though using Raven Man is tempting here. Alright. Let's kill this. And then we'll try to just play a bat. 
I mean, there has to be a kill spell here sooner or later. You kill the other bat, get the cut down so you can kill this bat, right? Or is this just two lands in hand? Oh, it's Beseech and the End. That's something. Huh. Man, we're going to lose our dude off the top of our library. That sucks. All right, I guess I take the Beseech. That's uh, that's unfortunate, actually. Because I actually really wanted this uh, Graveyard Trespasser. Yeah, obviously you kill that one. Oh, they just had a cut down even. Oh, what a top deck. Well, now maybe they're just going to Beseech. All right, well, we get this regardless. I mean, I guess that's cool. All right, we're attacking. I mean, that costs four and a discard. So, I mean, if they kill it, then they lose their other spells. So that's fine. Let's get rid of a deep cavern bat, I guess. All right, so they either kill something or they besiege here, but they're not doing both. Yep, I go to 10. All right, they're getting rid of that. I'm assuming to go get shielded. Which would make sense. Uh, we can then make them discard a card to get a bird. But then they'll gain two. See, I don't know what we're going to do here. Oh, no, they just put it in their hand, whatever it is. Oh, this works out. That's really convenient. They have to discard a card. And then we make them discard the other one. Gross. That was probably the board sweeper, too. Ah, I bet it was. So many decks are playing that new, I think it's like six cost, destroy all creatures, exile some stuff from the graveyard, whatever. I bet you it was either that or get rid of everything, two or less. I, I say that. It could have also, there's a bunch. It could have also been Gix's Command or something. But either way, that probably locks it up. Because now we get to attack for three, four, five, six. Remove one, I guess, from our yard would be seven. And then if nothing else, even if they do wipe the board, we're just attacking for three next turn. So, yeah. Little grindy, but a good solid win. All right, so as much as I trash talk the Raven Man, that actually, I think, won that last game because we are able to use his ability and another discard, so that was kind of funny. Soul Search is really good. I, You know, I think this has that kind of classic issue you have where if you're against the aggro decks, you kind of need to get, like, your early get loss, early bitter triumph, whatever. You know, you got to hit the bat or else you just can't keep up. But if you do, you kind of gain control really quickly and then don't concede control later right and then this is actually mostly fine against control decks because of stuff like liliana whatever given a choice though i'm probably getting rid of rankles pranks i don't think it really does much for us overall and the decks we would probably have an issue with i don't think it really helps so i would probably replace rankles prank with a one of either cut down or try to get into some number of like creature of the schism something like that i think would be better gix yogmas predator was didn't really come up but i think it's still mostly fine my issue though is this is the type of deck that could end up taking some early damage to where we really don't get to use gix so for my money i'd replace gix i'd replace rankles pranks and play two preacher and i think that mostly brings the deck up to where you want to be but everything else, Aklazot was good. Oh, actually, Painful Crondry. This is another one. Like, I'm going to leave the one of in here because I think a lot of y'all, when you play Discard, want to play Painful Crondry. But the issue with this card is until your opponent's hands down to zero to one card, it doesn't do a lot. So just keep that in mind. It's just kind of okay. You know, just just saying. I will say this too. I One, one last thing. I did notice that the Raven Man's a little worse in here. Because we have discard cards that actually exile. You know what I mean? We have Skull Clamps, Skull Cap Snail, which exiles. We have Soul Search, which exiles. Now, we do still have Hopeless Nightmare where they have to discard. We still have uh, 
Liliana where they have to discard. So that, that's fine. And it can discard to itself. So it's not like you won't ever get the bats. Same thing with Aklazots. It's just something to be aware of. For my money, though, I think you can go ahead, replace the Painful Quandary with, like, another Skullcap Snail and be fine. And just have more Exile slash Discard stuff. That That's for me personally. But as it is, I'm going to post this for everybody as 4 Hopeless Nightmare, 3 Get Lost, 3 Bitterfront Triumph, 4 Deep Cavern Bat, 3 Snail, 1 Raven Man, 3 Soul Search, 4 Graveyard Trespasser, 2 Liliana the Veil, 2 Preacher of the Schism, 3 Shieldred, 1 Soren. Two Aklazot's Deepest Betrayal, one Painful Quandary. Actually, before I get into the lands, if you're worried more about control decks, instead of the extra Skullcap Snail, go ahead and play an extra Soren so you can actually draw cards or whatever in those matchups. But the lands are one Iganjo, one Plane, seven Swamp, one Takanuma, four Caves of Korlos, four Restless Fortress, four Shattered Sanctum, and two Merix. And while we're looking at new cards from Karlov Manor, there was another neat creature that has been overlooked in 10th District Hero. You should check that out in this Selesnia Humans deck we played. That was really good. Well, that's all I have for you for now. We'll see you next time.